everything now to the 360 cameras there boom okay continue all right let's see see if we can get out of this yeah that's uh, a tricky one this is this is interesting I'm not sure how it's gonna how it's gonna deal with it deal with this how it's gonna go Oh, right. oh my gosh, it went right across. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> there we oh, go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did it. It, was it a did it. Jerky. It was like, a, yeah, a little sort of. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Uh, this is my friend Fadi. I'm hey, what's up? Back. We're going to uh, try some new uh, filming methods here and uh, get some 360 video. Right couple different angles and and see how this works yeah short drive seven minutes see how yeah, it works let's out see how it works out and then all right so uh, FSD beta when I turn it on we're gonna get the beta visualization here uh, also whenever it's on there's gonna be a little blue steering wheel that we see and anytime it's on if I move the steering wheel more than like a pound or so of force it will disengage and, and turn uh, gray and then it's not on so I can't do it the only thing I could do during uh, FSD uh, is add a, I can use the accelerator to help at three intersections okay. and they uh, Tesla I think they do learn from that data to help make things right. more smooth um, and I can adjust the speed limit but other than that it'll be driving all by itself <laughs> let's see man okay all right Here we so go. It, yeah now I'm gonna keep my hands on the wheel and ready to go uh, if, if we come up to a car I kind of guard it so that if it, it tries to go too much in that direction it just will immediately disengage oh so it gives turn signals by itself right oh everything yeah okay and that's now the, oh, sign. here's here's an interesting thing so I don't know if it's fine-tuned for snow yet based on some of the other testers I haven't taken it out with snow so it, it okay. doesn't it's not showing on the screen as an obstacle so yeah. it's kind of going into so I disengage right. there so hopefully Tesla's taking that data in and we'll start fine-tuning for snow and it's pretty low I mean it's pretty low on the on the ground the, it, do, it does see the um, green things coming up but, but it's driving right. over it a little bit so a totally different experience I tried the you know my car is pretty outdated so uh, I tried the adaptive cruise control wow yeah you can see it sees people yeah that's a person walking yep. that'll show up on the 360 <laughs> and it sees Like there's no lane markings but it no okay yep it's all that okay so what would happen if somebody was at the at the intersection it'll wait it'll understand its turn yep oh god <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think it actually does fairly well at four-way stops Oh yeah, it's able to, the, the, the yellow figures, yellow and blue are, okay, pedestrians, okay. So there's a color code, um, one of the other YouTubers put it out, I think red is parked cars, there's different colors for cross traffic, and um, like when you're behind someone, see that car up there, it's uh, right. green, that's the car it's following. check incoming traffic so it stops back at the stop sign which is technically correct and then it creeps forward for visibility okay. even though most people don't do that right so this is great to this will be able to show the car incoming from the again we'll try to show it while we use a 360 now and we'll see Uh, and parking lots are another thing too that they have I don't think they've been concentrating on yet so sometimes it works perfectly and sometimes it doesn't okay so let's check it out it got the wheel so I can at, at least try it. it wants to go out that way okay <laughs> well right it's trying to make a decision left right left right okay so 
so parking lots need a little work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like like to, a, I like to make sure my rims are okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it worked. It worked. It got us out. So we have a stop sign and we have a traffic. So it's interesting because there's enough room, I think, to get there, but not. Yeah, it's not going. A lot. Yeah, no, it's, it's moving slowly. There's enough room, isn't there? Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna send a clip just because I think most people would have fit fit in oh uh, by that car yeah i mean we would have fit in but um i would have done it that way so i would have i would have just be on the safe side and you know i tried to squeeze myself in and too tight so So the other day, like I said, Elon Musk tweeted that there might be a, a, a delay between the next update, but it, that it's going to be a step change and it uh, might incorporate all the cameras into a neural net. And I mean, because that's what they were, he was tweeting about a little while ago. Having, you mean all the cameras, oh, everything from Tesla, all, like, all Tesla cars. Like I think based on videos that the, uh, Andre Carpathy posted, and talked about stuff last year. I think they've been transitioning from code where, <clears throat> where it's hand coded all the situations uh, to neural nets where okay. the car just sees everything and figures out what to do. Okay. And so there's some in between there, where uh, if they update that and that makes it better, then it's going to be awesome. Nobody's even close to this level of uh, self-driving. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I've, again, I cannot say. I'm not. This is. So I mean, I think that the Waymo and other companies that that are doing using lidar, ultra high definition maps and stuff in the in a very specific bubble, it those cars are doing better. Um, you know, they're taking people on taxi rides and things like that. But all right, yeah, this will be a good one to show because we're red light and there's traffic coming. smooth so it's a red light but a lot of those cars they don't make left turns you know they don't make unprotected okay. left turns so but right now I mean I've never driven here before you know th there's a, a probably a very high chance that no Tesla cell full, full self-driving on the FSD beta has ever driven here driven on any of these intersections Wow that's cool See, they changed colors. Yeah. And it sees all the, uh, the lights. You can move this around. So how is it acquiring all of this data? I mean, this is... Oops. Eight big, cameras. Eight cameras. And ultrasonic sensors. Okay. All around. And obviously, there's more cars around than it shows in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just guessing that it probably only shows something on the screen when it's got a certain level of confidence or you know It may not it could still be in in incorporating that into the decision-making. It just doesn't show it on the screen. Okay So that was a little bit accelerated and up to the speed limit slowed down This is a good one. 
I yeah, mean, it is that always green light over here. Yeah. It sees it. Okay. That was nice. It was smooth. Continue. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get out of this. Yeah, that's uh, a tricky one. This is this is interesting. I'm not sure how it's gonna how it's gonna deal with it. Deal with this. How it's gonna go? Oh right! Oh my gosh! It went right across. Oh okay. Hey, oh, <laughs> there oh, we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did it. It, was it a did it. Jerky. It was like yeah, a little sort of. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see. I'll send that in. <laughs> That just needs to be perfected. Yeah. The problem there is that any person would go straight across three lanes. Yeah. And we've I think we've gone back and forth on some of these builds where uh, it it stair steps and goes from one lane, establishes itself, goes to the next lane, and goes to the next lane. And what we have to we have to do is figure out what the happy medium is yeah. because there are some places where like here you have to go across multiple lanes if you're going to make this turn. Let's see. Yep, nice and decisive. So does it work with the navigation system as well? Does it take data from maps, whatever maps available? So yeah, if you if you don't have a navigation destination, it just kind of randomly drives around. But if you go against it, if the maps are wrong, mm. it needs map data that we could tell to just like a person needs to get from one point to the other. Okay. Uh, the problem is what we need to, they need to figure out how to solve the problem when the map data is not right to use the cameras to figure out what to do. Right. You know what they could also use? I've been thinking about it now, sitting for maybe, what, what is it, like 15, 20 minutes and seeing it on autopilot. Um, I noticed that it'll always try to accelerate to the speed limit and then it sees the traffic, it breaks down. I think they can introduce I don't know, maybe they'll introduce sort of a preference. I'm more of a, when I'm driving, it's more of a lot smoother, you know. Don't accelerate that hard, don't yeah. break that hard. So for autopilot on the highway, yeah. we got speed, speed based lane changes disabled, mild, average, okay. or Mad Max. Right, <laughs> so you have it on Mad Max. Okay, that's why. <laughs> so, uh, but that's not on FSD, it's only on the highway. Okay. So yeah, maybe, maybe we can have a preference on the streets to be like, uh, I don't know. Between acceleration. Average Joe, yeah. grandma, uh, yeah, grandpa. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm a really slow guy on the street. <clears throat> uh, and that's because I, I used to race on a racetrack and, you know, get all my speed kicks from there and like to be super smooth, super easy. And that's why I like the autopilot. You see, I like to listen to music, do it, you know, let it do its thing for me, um, get to my destination stress-free, you know, but again, having an electric car all together, that's <laughs> like a... Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. I, I, I personally don't want the steering wheel to be removed, you know. I want the option to be able to drive. Okay, that was... Here we go. This is... we got to get across two more lanes, right? Is this where we're going in or the next one? Oh, no, not here. But I mean, also the goal the, the goal is to get robo taxis so that you could just push a button yeah. and someone who's at work, you know, their Tesla is making money for them, driving people around. I'm not sure if I'll do that, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Friends and family only, maybe? Maybe. Gotta go. Yeah. Okay, that was that was I would say. Send it because I would have yeah, gotten a yeah. turn lane a little bit. Yeah, early. exactly. <laughs> that was that was you know wasn't sure if it's gonna turn left or what. Or... Okay. <laughs> you see, these are really complex situations, you know, and. Uh... But we're at Costco. Let's see if we can get out of the Costco parking lot and get back to the area where we started. 
Okay, so it doesn't say I can't engage it right now. There we go. Okay, I probably would have gone that way. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, we got cars driving everywhere. Yeah. It is, again, a very complex uh, situation here. Okay. Yeah. And where do you want to go? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take over just because so we I could have sent it because I want to be more to the right. Yeah. But we got, it got out. See, but the map shows it a little bit over there. So yeah. that's where it's got to manage the vision. Okay, this is... Traffic's coming, they have their blinker on, but I never necessarily trust people with the blinker. Yeah. So this is good, because we got, it's pretty high speed cross traffic. When is it gonna go? Oh, again, it's another immediate left turn, and there's traffic there, okay, so. Okay, and yeah. Basically, at this point, someone's got to let us in. Yeah. And do you think the car will do it by itself? If somebody lets, let's us see. In. Let's see what happens, cause, <laughs> cause let's see what happens. Really, I mean, if they don't let us in, the car has got to go forward. And if somebody let us in, and there's enough room in front of us that it should work. Yeah, it should work. I don't know if somebody's going to let us in. I don't think so. Let's see. So now we've got the... Oh. Nope. Let's see, gonna... let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I, no. I did, okay, so you my, took over. I accidentally that's, did it. Okay. I don't think that's <laughs> technically allowed, but... Yeah. So it disengaged, so Tesla got that data. Okay. The minute you disengage, it'll get it automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there was there were multiple chances where any one of those people could have let me in. Yeah. And I think human nature is, you see a blinker. Oh, no, don't let him in. No, <laughs> my turn. I'm faster by 0.1 seconds to my destination. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really just, uh, I'm curious to see how that's going to get better because, again, you need the human, you need to anticipate those things. You need to be, make a decision yeah. and go for it. Exactly, yeah, decisive, you know, quick decision making. And I think the first version of this beta that I got, it was very indecisive, very indecisive. Okay. It would never go the next second or third one I got. It was like it would go every time. It, and I, it was like great because it was making decisions, but they weren't always the best decisions. Okay. And now I think we're somewhere in the middle. If you really think about it, the, the amount of algorithms it's got to run when it's making a decision. Should I go, you know, there's a car, yes, no. Uh, and uh, this one will make the sort of the experience on such situations a bit jerky. You know, you'd feel like it's braking, it's accelerating, it's giving small turns. Um, like that was a little bit of a yeah unnecessary break unnecessary yep so <laughs> and the interesting thing you'll see from the videos a lot of people wonder is the car learning yeah and from what we understand the car and we could be wrong but from what we understand the car can't learn between updates but all of us are seeing kind of different behavior on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So what we're wondering is like, what knobs and variables are they tweaking okay. in the background? Okay. To, to, not that it's learning from those situations, but that it's just applying different, you know, variables. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, uh, at some point they get a lot so self-artificial intelligence and, and learning, you know, where it will, 
keep on evolving uh, unless they make these updates a lot faster because uh, again I can't you know there's a million scenarios that could happen and I don't think you can have them all in a few updates you know as many updates as you do there's gonna be always something new so I think there's gonna be always a chance to leave a the software learn by itself and, and, and evolve and the more driving to also understand your preference of driving yeah, that's gonna be interesting because like we talked about before how do you everyone has a little bit different preferences on how they want to drive yeah so some people might think oh this is perfect and other people are like I have no I don't like it yeah maybe maybe in the future I'm, I'm sure it's not happening now but maybe the or maybe it is but maybe the car can learn from your driving habits when it's not on autopilot check this out. I'm gonna take us off autopilot just for a second so if you're look the light turned green it dings oh, okay so if you're like looking down okay now it doesn't do that when I'm on full FSD beta so that's why I took it off but um, it's it's like instant light turns green ding nice <laughs> so even if you're driving they keep adding all these little features that are just that is really cool awesome accelerator just at the end we were halfway yeah. through I didn't really add it as much as I should have but I sent that in because yeah that's another situation it just needs to go yeah 